Hi, and welcome to Debunk File. My name is Sep, and today we are going to be talking about The Door. Very recently, we decided to cover a mystery on Reddit, and it really was a long time coming. Reddit has some very intriguing mysteries out there, and that's because obviously, you can post whatever you want. Last time we talked about an insane story, but this one is a little different. It's not a story at all. Rather, a picture with a very short caption. Previous owner of new house blocked this hidden basement room off with a shelf. Door does not lead outside. Attached with that is this image, and naturally, it instantly sparked discussion. This is an ominous image, so the post blew up fairly fast. Obviously, everyone was wondering what the hell was inside that door, and we received a few updates, all in the form of replies. The first of which was to someone simply telling him to open it prompting him to say, Likewise, horror movies have taught me that questions posed are always scarier and more interesting than any answer I can get out of it, so that is staying closed. Also, my dogs won't go anywhere near the door, so I am doubly not opening it. So, that makes me wonder, why won't the dogs go near it? It's very strange. Perhaps it's his psyche. He made a lot of replies after this, with most of them saying pretty much the same things like the mystery is always better than the end result and I'll open it eventually. Thing is though, he never did open the door. This post was made four months ago and we were yet to see behind the barricaded door. He hasn't made a post in four months and he hasn't even left a single comment in four months either. With him being gone for this amount of time, people started to worry. Was the force behind the door evil? Is he dead? Is he missing? The internet got really worried for this guy, so what we are going to do today is attempt to answer two questions. What happened to the original poster, and what is behind the door? Let's start with the first question. What happened to the original poster? Well, believe it or not, I don't think he's dead. Honestly, I see the insane reactions as people seriously blowing this way out of proportions. A quick look through his comments and post history would give you two very simple answers. While looking through, I notice a very important comment. Somebody asked him why he bought a house and he didn't look through every room, prompting the poster to respond with, If I bought it, I'd check it out immediately. I ain't dying over rental. This really explains a lot. The house being a rental perfectly explains why he didn't stress over the room, because if this was a house I owned, I'd have to check it out. Besides this, there is an even larger reveal that is seen when you simply scroll through his post history, and that is, the frequency in which he posts. You see, he never was the most active guy in the world. He would have stretches where he posted a solid amount, but there are also stretches where there were no posts or even comments for months. A lot of the replies do show that he is frustrated by the replies pleading him to look into the door, so it seems perfectly fathomable that since it was just a rented place and it didn't matter too much to him, he just left the door shut and went off Reddit, like he clearly has done in the past. So yeah, as far as the original poster goes, he's probably living your average life. It was a rented place and the borderline harassment of the post had him sign off Reddit, which was a thing he did in the past quite a bit. But now, let's move on to the second mystery. What was behind that door? First off, we're gonna start with what we usually do in these sorts of situations, and that is, it was staged. Who knows, maybe this was a set that he just took a picture of and posted it, knowing it would get a reaction. Usually, this is the most logical explanation, but this is one of the rare cases where I really believe it to be true. Also, as a side note, reverse image searches yield no results, so this is an original picture and not just something taken offline. I'm not ruling out the scenario that it is actually fake, but I do think there are stronger theories. The first of which coming from a comment on the post stating that if the bank owned the house between the last owner and him, they probably just put stuff the property company was supposed to throw out in it. This is a very simple answer, but definitely makes sense. As far as the whole creepy, my owner barricaded the door thingy goes, I don't see it being true at all. This shelf looks like it just fell over. If it were to be picked up without moving at all, it would very clearly be standing flat against the wall, so it definitely seems to just simply fallen over. This coincidental shelf placement also leads me to believe that there is just simply nothing in here at all. We know now that the shelf wasn't put there on purpose, so with him renting an apartment, which would presumably be empty, the chance that this room in the basement is also empty is very, very, very high. 
So yeah, this mystery is easily debunked. The internet most definitely freaked out over this event, but doing the proper research would show you that he doesn't post that often, only right to the place, and got annoyed at the comments. The guy is probably just living a normal life now, and the basement room either had old furniture in it, or nothing at all. We won't ever truly know what was in that room, but the chances of it being something sinister, or interesting, really is very low. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to help us grow, remember that word of mouth is the best way to spread this channel. Tell your friends and family about us. As always, my name is Seth from Debunk File. See you guys next time. Bye.